welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Minnesota Twins and the Milwaukee Brewers. First pitch coming your way next. So just about set now on the hill here today Freddie Peralta how about a report on him Chris four pitch guy he's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance so we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later maybe second third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen it's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket as a hitter you really have to stay on your toes. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Just no. missed. The wind of the pitch. Bounced up the middle. Adamas. One out in the top of the first. And now we take a peek at the Twins lineup. The Sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and a guy is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. Foul ball. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. The pitch. One ball, two straight. Fouls it off, still one and two. One out, base is empty. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens. Byron Buxton in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Next offering is downstairs. One strike. Swings and misses and one down below the zone. Got him looking. And it's a one, two, three inning. We head to the bottom of the first. No score after a half inning. Towing the slap, Pablo Lopez. Oh, this is a guy that usually turns in a very good outing. People like playing behind him. Everyone seems to be loose, and the offense tends to get going. So, you know, you look at an opposing lineup. When they see him out there in the mound, they know that he's going to compete. They don't want to let him settle in. They want to try to knock him out, get into that bullpen before he gets real comfortable. Bottom of the first, and here is Christian Yelich as he turns on the rubber and with that. Good live arm delivers. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Here's someone, historically speaking, that prefers day games over night games. So I'm excited to see what he does in this one.
swing and a pop up. Jeffers under it. And there's one down. Let's take a look at the Brewers lineup. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and an outfielder is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. Check That's swing, well. and he held up. That's big right there, being able to check your swing. Think about the count swing. Instead of 0-2, he's sitting 1-1 against a really good arm. Swing and a miss. One ball. And it's one and two. And Pablo Lopez will deliver. Wouldn't chase that time. Swinging. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that, that count hurt. up at two balls right and two right. strikes, but that time yeah. chased outside the zone. Right, right. Sal oh. Freeland in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Two out spaces empty. There's the strike. Two down, nobody on. Swung on and fouled off. And he'll need to do back. Just misses. And it's two and two. It's a good take. Gets the swing of the miss. And Milwaukee is set down in order. Nobody left for Milwaukee. We played an inning. No score. Back here in Milwaukee. New inning getting started. And here's the veteran outfielder, Max Kepler. Kepler getting the start in right. 31 years old. And he was born in Germany. Peralta back to work. No ball. One strike. Righty delivers. Swing it a foul straight back. The 2 to the right no. side, and it foul. goes just foul. What Way inside. Oh. And that's off the inside no, edge, and the count's even at 2. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. 
Well, that's a pitch, that slider from an opposite handed pitcher that you usually see very well, but for some reason he didn't pick it up and it just kind of got into the strike zone late. Gave up on it a little bit early. Carlos Correa stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Correa, the former first overall pick from Puerto Rico back in 2012, and he blossomed into the American League Rookie of the Year in 2015. Terang calls it in, and there's two away. The first base Carlos And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. That one out to right. Fralick pulls it down, and that is that. So they go quietly there. We go to the bottom of inning number two. No score. And we're back. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Hoskins in his seventh season, batting in the cleanup spot. And he was a fifth round pick back in 2014. The right hander back to work. That one missed. Swing and a miss, strike one. Clyde Washington doing the umpiring behind the dish in this one. Sometimes considered a bit of a pitcher's umpire, singing. He likes the low ball, which traditionally favors pitching, but you know, hitters today are pretty good at dropping their barrel down, so we'll see how it goes in this one. Hard hit, left side. Tosses to first. That's one out at the bottom of the second. That is good. Not short stop. Really Adamus. Willie Adamas stands in. That one finds the zone. Strike one. The shortstop takes the ball. One ball, one strike. The one one. Down to ball here, rolls foul. Oh. That misses, two and two. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Liner staked at first. That swing right there tells me he's seen the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Here's the Brewers' DH, Garrett Mitchell. Mitchell goes six feet three inches, 225 pounds, and he's usually in the outfield. Today he's the DH. Top of the zone for a called strike. You know, Blue, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're playing in Oakland, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So for him to be able to be the DH today, that is really a nice day off. And yeah, the right hander deals. Bounced out to short. Three up, three down, three down. inning over. Brewers go down quietly. We'll move to the third with no score. Top half of the Leading third up, inning. Here's the left fielder, Deleuze. Matt Walmer. Matt Walmer. Here comes a pitch. That's in for a strike. Oh, one. Headed down the line. Yelich running hard. And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. Oh, and two now. One ball, two strikes. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. Swings and misses, struck him out. No messing around with the pitch calling in that sequence right there. Four pitches, all fastballs. Yeah, and that makes me think that was the plan before the at-bat even started. If you think you can simply just 
beat a guy with only your fastball. Why throw him anything else until he shows you he can handle it? Brian Jeffers at the plate. Wouldn't what chase know. that time. Swing to miss. Wow, no fair right, right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pick. And that one is lifted in the air, and there's two away. Here's Alex Kirilov. That one catches the zone. 0 and 1. Just oh, missed. Two outs. Two and he one. delivers outside. Clearly, he didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. And a pitch. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Gives it the body and makes the catch. Oh, man. Amazing catch to end the inning. As a former outfielder, I'm feeling proud right now. Saw the wall, didn't get afraid, held on to the ball. And welcome back to the ballpark as we go to the last of the third. Up now for Milwaukee, Jackson Chorio. And the right hander back to work. That one inside. And that's ball one. Rip to short. Tosses to first. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Wow, Singy, what a throw. We got to take another look at it, but this time with the numbers from StatCast. Yeah, well, that's about as good as it gets. You'll see the hardest throwing infielders reach 90 plus on throws across the diamond, so he's pretty much right there with the best infield arms in the game. That was a rocket of a throw right there. This is Bryce Terang. In there for strike one. Next offering is outside. Right through there for a strike. Left hand hitter waits. And another ball. Still two and two after the foul ball. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. And now it's going to be Andrew Monasterio. First pitch misses. Wouldn't That's chase that time. Doing that went back up the middle and it gets through. So now back to the top of the order. Well, we don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Now it's Christian Yelich. One First ball. pitch, okay. not close.
kicks and deals. Runner on the goal. In the air, out towards left center. He's got it. And that is the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. Three innings complete. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here at American Lead Family off, Field. Please. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and, and set to lead off the fourth, Edouard Julien. Peralta back to work on the ground to short Adamas that's the first out in the top of the fourth up next is the twin the third baseman here's Royce Lewis went down on strikes his first time through just missed Check swing went around and the count one, one and one. one. One down, base is empty. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And the righty deals. Oh. And now the count filled up three and two. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's wrong. Oh. He passed him. That's a strikeout. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Here's Byron Buxton. Caught looking his first time up. Looked like it was a little bit up. Two down, nobody on. That one fouled off. Two outs. Swing and a miss struck him out. So 12 up, 12 down to begin the ball game. No score. Ready to go, bottom four. And now it's William Contreras. Contreras. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. Line, and that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Dominant performance for him today, Boone. Just two hits allowed so far, no runs across either, and he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced, so. I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. So digging in, Sal Fraley. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. one. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Deal one. 
And that one fouled off. His eyes got big. He saw that changeup way out in front. Better to pull it than to get jammed on something off speed like that. The 0-2. Oh. Outside. One and two. Contreras gets his lead at first with nobody out. Fly ball down the line. This has got a chance, and it is foul. Oh. And down on strikes he goes. One away. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Over oh, one, he grounded out in his first at bat. Fastball for a strike. 0 and 1. Ball and a 0 count. Not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. And a foul ball. Deal two. Oh. That one 95 to finish him off. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch. After now down the leadoff single. Back to back strikeouts. So I haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Next for the Brewers, Willie Adamas. 0 for 1 so far. Pulls that one foul. Next pitch is outside. A little bit low. Fouls one off. Two and two. The pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. the belt and finals and that just misses Garrett Mitchell in the Milwaukee on deck circle two gone but the go ahead run is at first we're here at the bottom of the fourth and down on strikes and that will end the inning no runs one hit no errors and a man left we're headed to the fifth we're tied nothing nothing here in Milwaukee ready now for the fifth the inning view, and now for the twins Max, Max Kepler. Kepler the wind of the pitch just the off the outside on. edge ball one he's been pitching well but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order we'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not The one two. And another ball. Swing and miss. Hand him out front for the strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, well, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Hold on. Hold on. Correa up to hit. He's over one. Popped up. Foul territory behind the play. Contreras drifts towards it. 
And a foul ball. One of the things with Correa, the impact he makes, not just on offense, but defense as well. A guy who's won a platinum glove as the best defender in the American League. Probably my favorite note, though, on Carlos Correa. He oh, likes to, before games, go to a regular old batting cage and take BP with his dad. The shortstop takes the ball. Next pitch in for a strike. And the count is two and two. All tied up. And we're at the top of the fifth. Hits and misses. That's a strikeout. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from the same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Santana batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Inside just missed. And that one is in the dirt. Now two balls and a strike. And there's a foul ball. Now all leave it up. Careful. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Good plate oh, appearance there. Back. Able to take the walk. That's a great at-bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a oh, walk. Oh, Two-out right. walks are never good, oh, especially when you're trying to get nah. back into that dugout. But he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. Wall. No, in the box the here. Let's that one go for a ball. Pitch misses, and now 2-0. Oh. Two outs. Wouldn't That's chase that time. Brian Jeffers, next to bat for Minnesota. And a pitch. That's in there, 3-1. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Three and two now. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. One left for Minnesota. Still no score. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0-1. Well, these Brewers, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Good oh, eye in oh. that spot. And that's outside. And that's ball three. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. A wide to kick the pitch. And that's too oh. high. Ball, ball four. four. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this go. one. Don't want to wake a team up with a free pass. Next for Milwaukee, Jackson Choyo. Grounded out his first time. In the air, left field, down the line. 
And no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's going to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. And the pitch. That one misses. One. And the count is one and one. And another ball. Nice. And there's the strike. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And that one is lifted in the air. Brings it in. The batter, number two, second baseman, Bryce So next, Bryce Terang. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. When you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. And that went a little bit high. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first. There's the ball. The roll. Save. That's a stolen base. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on him and see if he can steal the ball, get in the scoring position. Now three and oh, Andrew Monasterio in the on-deck circle. Man at second. And ball That's four, four to the board. Well, this came apart right there. Four-pitch walk, and now the guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of his own. Andrew Monasterio, the next to hit. One for one with a single so far. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. And he deals. Chop to third. Lewis. Quick feed to second for one, and that's two. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play, gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. Here at American Family Field. Now it's going to be Ryan Jeffers. Jeffers. The pitch. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Good eye right there. On the ground, Terang. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. The bat, bat. the designated hitter, Alex. Now it's the Twins DH, Alex Kirilov. He's 0 for 1. Swings and misses. Oh, one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. That's inside. One down, base is empty. Fights it off, you'll see another. The pitch. High fly ball out into left center field. And it's caught for the out. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind swirl around out there. And here's the Twins leadoff guy, Edouard Julien. 
And he hits a ground ball right side. And the yeah. Twins go one, two, three. So he's through six, no hit innings now. And we still have no score. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now it's Christian Yelich. Line of the pitch. Just missed. One ball, no strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Right into the play. And another ball. This one lifted in the air, left field. Yelich out on the play. And there's one down. Now now. Catcher. Catcher. William Contreras digs in now. One for two. There's a strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Right through there for a strike. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Going two now. Good job to fight that one off. and misses it's a strikeout well clearly just anxious right there and understandably so on the two count you feel like you've got a lot of plate to cover and you don't want to strike out and you end up striking out that's just one of those pitches where it's not over the plate but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone it's too late to hold up your swing Fraley, the next to hit takes outside Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Fouled off to the right. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. 1-1 one, one down. Base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he made it out front for the line drive knock. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. And now Reese Hoskins. What know. Pitch misses there. Ball one. Now move to first. And he's back in there. Freely off of first with two away. And there he goes. Pitch in for a strike. For the second. Out there. And that ends the inning. The catcher definitely looked ready for that stolen base attempt. Got in position quickly. And a strike down to second base to end the inning. Top of inning number seven. And now for the Twins, Royce Lewis. Well, timing is the key to great hitting. And right now, that door is still locked. They haven't been able to figure out pitch sequences. And it's impacting them across the board. Slap the other way. Foul. The wind of the pitch. Oh. That one sliced foul. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. 
Swings, throw it in, that's a strikeout. The pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high fastball. It used to be that a lot of pitchers didn't like to throw it because it threw off their release point and their mechanics, and they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls, but because hitters get a swing path that can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence, this pitch has come back into play, and they are doing some special things with it. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. Right hander kicks deals. Buxton started after it, tried to hold up. Now look to first, and yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Earl Hendricks. And a pop-off, right side, foul territory. Drifts towards it. Oh, he brought it back. Now batting Max Kepler. And that's in the dirt. pitch in the air left field Yelich makes the grab on the run seven no hit innings in the books and we still have no score Here in Milwaukee, and now the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. And here it comes. Right through there for a strike. That's the third, and he picks it up in foul territory. Here's the 0-2. And there's a ball. I don't like to say he wasted it, Coach. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. The next offering misses. The count now two and two. Righty delivers. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. And a pitch. Three that ball. one way outside. And that's ball three. That one Thank misses. You, so a leadoff walk. But a great back and forth and that at bad. He had to play off some really, really close really. pitches and somehow he found a way to keep the ball on the shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Runner on the goal, swing and a miss. Go to the second. Such a quick and fast swing of emotions right there. You get the runner on with the walk, which is great, but then picks a bad pitch to go on, and you just erase the free pass that you were issued. I understand you want to be aggressive. You want to try to get in the scoring position, but you just have to be a little smarter there. Just missed. Minnesota's bullpen with some action. Steven Oker getting loose out there. Stewart, a right-hander, loosening up as well. The pitch. And he can't make the play. And he's going to make it to first. And we'll see how they score it. Now, the designated hitter. Get ready. One down. Next is the designated hitter, Garrett Mitchell. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position.
kicks and fires. That's the third down the line, and it's foul. Here comes a pitch. Bounce to third. Off balance beat. There's one. Oh, the throw is over his head. And it's going to wind up out of play. Well, he hung in there at second to get the out. But the return throw to the first is way offline. Yeah, and I have to think the runner coming in the second had a part in that. You can't assume the double play, but because the batter moves up past first, he does get charged with the throwing error right there. Up now for Milwaukee, Jackson Chorio. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. The 0-1. And that one fouled off. Fly ball to right center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's Carlos Correa. And this lineup is still hitless as we begin the eighth. And the right hitter back to work. And that's too high. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. Strike on the inside corner. Next one misses three and one. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Fouls one away and now three and two. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. In danger of losing the no hitter here. Nice. And now one away. Yeah, that's a tough pitch to stay on. You don't want to get beat inside. And as you see that pitch continue to run away from you, by the time it's in the catcher's mitt, you think it's a ball off the plate away. And next for Minnesota, Carlos Santana. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball. Just about to okay. hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. The Twins hitless so far in the game. And fouled off. One down, base is empty. And a count one and two. Oh, he just misses there. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Kick Sandios. And he chases that one. Now to a win. Well, I don't think there's a hitter alive that hasn't at some point succumbed to that pitch right there. It just looks like it's in the zone the entire way. And then the top spin and gravity take over in the blink of an eye. And it's just such a tough pitch to lay off of. Matt Walmer, the next twin up to hit. That oh. one's in there. It's a run. Tied up, and we're at the top of the eighth. Next offering is in for a strike. And he is just dialed in right now. 
every pitch thrown with so much conviction. Even close there. Gonna count one and two. Wouldn't chase that time. And the right hander deals. Got it. Oh. Down go the twins in order. And we are still scoreless. Bryce Terang. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Throw on to Santana. One attempt doesn't work. They get the out. Well, I think the defense was anticipating something here because they were really ready to defend as that ball was put down. Nice little drag ball. If they get the out. Way to go. Next for the Brewers, Andrew Monasterio. Fall off foul. That's a little bit low. Deals. Base hit. So the go ahead run is on base with a knock. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come up through. It's just bigger than your own individual no, stats. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumping, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Pablo Lopez done for the day, and it's a tie ball game as he heads for the dugout. Back with a new arm after a quick break. Coming out of the bullpen for the You're Twins, Steven Oker. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to Number hit. 16. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Here's Yelich at the dish. And a swing and a line drive in a right field. And there's a hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Throw comes in quickly, holds that go-ahead run at third, and there's still one away. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Had a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. Runners at the corners here, one away. Now here is William Contreras. First pitch doesn't find the zone. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Step off, throw to first. Yelich gets back easily. With the go-ahead run at third, near the bottom half of the eighth inning. Got a good eye there. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Liner caught it second. Well, not in time as he's able to get back to avoid the double play. He put a really good swing on that pitch and hit the ball hard. You know, line drives will always find a hole, but the more you can hit the ball like that with good exit below, the better off you're going to be in the long run. And now the right fielder, Sal Fraley. One for three. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? 
I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Pitch oh. misses, and that is ball one. Well, this is a critical spot for both the pitcher and the hitter. You can learn a lot about a guy by how he handles these pressure situations. To the right side, Julian. In plenty of time to first. They miss a big chance to take the lead here late. Brewers strand a couple, and we're still knotted at zero. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the catcher, Ryan Jeffers. Everyone's attention on the no-hit bid now. Three tough outs to get. First pitch, and he just misses. The Brewers have some bullpen action. Elvis Piguero getting ready to go. Clark getting loose as well. And the pitch. Heard that hook's looking pretty sharp today. Just a solid pitching performance so far, and I really think it's because of that purple. And a 1 1. And that one fouled off. on the ground softly to short Adamas to first and the leadoff man retired here in the ninth deceptive slider right there stayed in the tunnel a long time got that hitter out front rolled over it put it on the ground Alex Kirilov getting ready to hit one of their last chances to break up the no-no it immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed oh, hitter can only imagine the nerves that some of the defensive players have right now You've got to have the mindset, I want the ball hit to me, but in front of that, you hope that he strikes the hitter out. Base is empty one away here in the top of the ninth. That one not close. Two and two. On the ground to third. Fires over to Haskins. And that quickly, two away. Well, there's a lot of riding on that at bat right there. A nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Edouard Julien, the next twin up to hit. And the no-hit bid comes down to this. One more out to get. Oh. First pitch misses. And that another ball. ball. Left-hand hitter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. In there, base hit! And the bid for history is gone. Man, this is heartbreaking, boo. I mean, the just bad. heartbreaking. One out from the no-no, and it gives him that first hit. Gosh, I'm sure he's just going to be thinking about that last pitch for a long time. So close to making some history. And here comes the Brewers manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. That does it for Freddie Peralta. And he was excellent. Really controlled this game on the mound. And we'll have a new arm for you in a minute. Here comes the new arm for the Brewers. Elvis Piguero. Number 59. Elvis Piguero. Go ahead, run on base. Now, Royce Lewis. And there's the strike. Piguero checks the runner. Julian back on a dive. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. So a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. And a swing and a miss. That ends the frame. So the no hitter lasts until the top of the ninth, and this game isn't done yet. No score. Back 
now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Brock Stewart. Now and here's the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. Well, one swing is a lot easier than getting two or three hits to win this ball game. You better believe he's going to be all in to hit the ball over the fence somewhere. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Movement in the bullpen. Griffin Jacks warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. And a pitch. Hit hard on the ground is short. Correa over to first. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. It's such a great feeling when a team can rely on their shortstop to make a play like that. It builds up confidence for everyone on his team. It might even inspire a few more web gyms before the game is over. Adamas in the box lays off for ball one. One down, base is empty. Line and a base hit in the right. Couple of hits in a row for him here. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over. It. Absolutely smoked that ball. Garrett Mitchell up now for the Brewers. Ball one, no strikes. One down, winning run on at first. Swing and a miss. And now it's even one and one. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. That's a hit! Ball back in in a hurry, and the winning run now at second with only one away. Two consecutive base hits for this team. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out fine and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Now just one swing away from potentially walking this thing off. Jackson Chorio up now for the Brewers. Popped up. Julian has this one sized up, makes the grab, and there are two down. Now that second base So first and second with two outs. Bryce Terrain up now for the Brewers. It's a good spot to be in. With runners on first and second, you know the pitcher is going to come after you. That's in there. Last thing he wants to do is nibble, load up the bases, and then walk in the winning run or throw it to the backstop and bring in that winning run. Trying to send this to extra innings. No, Just fun. missed. And that's off the inside edge. And it's 2-2. Two two. Winning run in scoring position with two away. Pitch in the dirt. And the count's full. Andrew Monasterio up next for the Brewers. Two on, two outs. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Two outs. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Righty to the plate. 
That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. They all pitch. Bows it back with two strikes. Here comes a 3 2. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. On to extra innings. And now for the Twins, Byron Buxton. The pitch. Just missed. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. Man at second. Off the mark there. Two and oh. Gets the outside corner with that one. Good eye in that spot. Max Kepler in the on deck circle. The 3 1. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Max Kepler at the plate. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the count so that you can dictate the rest of the at-bat. Nice job right there. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Safe. Good effort, but now the bases are loaded. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. You put a great swing on that ball. Took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. Really important at bat coming up now. And here comes Carlos Correa. And that one fouled off. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. This one's blistered. No doubt about it. Out of here. Grand slam. A towering shot. It's 4-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boo. We knew it wasn't coming back. That ball came out hot. So let's see what StatCast has to say. Yeah, it really did, Boog. 111 miles per hour off the bat and a really nice launch angle as well. Just a beautiful swing from start to finish. The new pitcher in the game, Taylor Clark. Now pitching for the Brewers. Number 32, Taylor Clark. Carlos Santana, the next twin up to hit. Right. And oh. ball one. One and out. Oh. 
Nobody on, nobody out here in the top half of the 10. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Outside corner of the plate and got that call third strike. Matt Walmer, the next twin up to hit. One and ball. the first Go offering straight. is not close. Right handed reliever. That smash towards center. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. Not in time. He's safe. Well, he's been having a hard time just putting the ball in play in this one, so that should help solve the blow. Even though center fielders are amazing at tracking down balls these days, there's still a lot of room out there, and it's a big field. So if you hammer one to center like that, there's a decent chance you're picking up extra bases. Jeffers now at the plate. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Terang over to first in time. And he's out. The bat, the, bat. the designated hitter, Alex. So up next Kirilov. for Minnesota, Alex Kirilov. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. First offering misses badly for ball one. A swing and a miss, and that's one strike ball. one. The one one. And another ball. Pitches outside. Three and one. On the ground, right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Four runs in the inning on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and one left on base. Last chance to even things up, we head to the bottom of inning number 10. It's the Twins. And the Brewers done. We're in extras here. Here's the third baseman, the third baseman. Andrew Monasterio. Andrew. Monasterio. Stewart back to work. Ground ball right side, and it's through for a hit. Coming home. Fires it to the plate. He'll score. It's 4-1. Singy, that's a start. Yeah, as soon as that ball got through, I could see down in the dugout, guys pumping their fists. They know that they got a chance in this ball game. On the mound now for the Twins, Griffin Jacks. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball, and now you see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. Now the left fielder, Christian Yelich. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Nobody out. Runner at first. 
Here's a strike. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. The 1 1. And that one wrapped foul. Out towards left center. Sizing this one up. Makes the catch. Now that catcher, William Contreras. And now here is William Contreras. And that one lifted in the air center field. Buxton moves under it. Drops into the glove. The right field, number 10. So last chance for the Brewers. Sal Fraley up now for the Brewers. its way to the corner and that lands in no man's land a foul ball two outs oh and he hit it Thank you, no, I'll tell you firsthand retired players we miss a lot of things about playing the game in our playing days but getting drunk by right a pitch like that usually isn't something we talk about oh, yeah. Hoskins, the next to hit, takes low for a ball. Hoskins pushes a foul. Tying run at the plate. That misses off the outside edge. Oh, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. The pitch. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. With the tying run at the plate, and we're in the last half of the 10th. Got him! And that's the ball game. Well, this is a big win on the road extras into 10 uh, so hard to pull those out but I think this team did a great job of keeping the crowd out of the ball game late when you can do that it kind of calms everything down keeps the adrenaline of the opposing team down a bit and you can steal a win and get out of here happy 4-1 the final here today for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB the show I'm John Chambi thanks for joining us